Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd do a video on what I consider to be my top five system tray utilities. Now system tray utilities normally serve a purpose. They perform a task. <clears throat> there are lots of system tray utilities and I'm sure you've uh, you've you've installed some and then realize it you, you don't really need it so you end up removing it and there are tons and tons of system tray utilities that you could <coughs> conceivably install to your system tray um, but more often than not you try them out for a little while and then you remove them <coughs> the five that I'm going to talk about are ones that I always install. Every time I do a distribution install, these are the five that always go into my system tray. They serve a purpose, they perform a function, they're, they're usable and they're useful. <clears throat> and so I thought I'd share that with you. Now I'm sure you have some that are not on my list that you consider to be your must-have system tray utilities. And if that's the case, please post your favorites in the comments so that the rest of us uh, can take advantage of some system tray utilities that we may not be aware of. So certainly share yours with me. So my top five in no particular order, the first one that's in my system tray right here is caffeine. Now caffeine, once activated, will stop your screensaver from activating. Let's say you're, in, you're downloading a long file or you're streaming some video and you don't want your screensaver to pop up. Well, if you activate caffeine, it'll prevent your screensaver from activating <clears throat> um, when you don't want it to. And so, and I'll go over the install procedure on all of these once I'm finished. Um, so that's caffeine. The next one is Clip It. Now Clip It is a uh, clipboard manager. Uh, it's the one that I prefer. There are lots of them out there, um, but this is the one that I prefer, and this is Clip It. C-L-I-P-I-T. Does the job very nicely. The next system tray icon you see here is, well, we've got Kazam and then the network which those network is automatic but the um, and and the the system tray utilities I'm talking about not the ones that get added in automatically these are the ones that you add to it um, so I'm not talking about volume I'm not talking about network I'm not talking about Bluetooth uh, the, those are the kind of automatic when you uh, do your install so the next one is P sensor now the reason I have P sensor is because it monitors my fan speeds and my temperatures within my computer. So when I am playing a game or I am rendering video or doing something that's resource intensive, I like to keep an eye on my temperature, internal temperatures. This, this measures the temperature on your cores for your CPU, your graphics processor, uh, it shows fan level, CPU usage, free memory. So it's a very useful uh, system tray utility, and it's called P Sensor, P S E N S O R. The next one is Redshift. Redshift is an absolute must. Redshift adjusts the color of your monitor. Uh, as the sun goes down so as it gets you know during the day you have daylight but at night you have incandescent or fluorescent lighting in your house and if if you leave the temp the the monitor at one temperature setting uh, that's when eye strain can de can develop especially during the nighttime hour hours now um, I've I've read and I'm sure you've seen articles on um, you know, not using your computer before you go to bed, um, not using your iPad, not using your phone, uh, because it puts a strain on your eyes and, and can make it uh, take longer for you to fall asleep. Well, Redshift takes care of that problem uh, on your Linux computer. Um, 
if you install Redshift, it automatically picks up your latitude and longitude and adjusts for daylight, sunrise, and sunset. And so it pretty much knows what time the monitor needs to begin adjusting and it will self adjust. So it's just a matter of in installing Redshift and leave it in your system tray. And it does a great job, absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't be without it. The next one is Synapse. Synapse is a useful utility because um, if you want to bring up files or programs, applications, um, without using the menu, you can invoke it, control space, and then type you know H U and I've got Hulu and then just enter and it will bring it up so it's very very useful again it's the default hotkey combination is control space and you just type um, and then it'll bring up any file any application places documents images as long as you know the name, just start typing the first few letters and it's uh, it'll do the rest. So that is number five. So Caffeine, Clip-It, P-Sensor, Redshift, and Synapse. Now within Ubuntu and Debian, you can do it all with one uh, command line command. sudo apt-get install p-sensor clip-it redshift dash gtk synapse and caffeine now once that's done then you'll need to go into your startup and make sure that they start when you boot the computer so for example this is xfce if I bring up my st uh, session and startup you'll see that they're all listed here now when you install caffeine it's not gonna on its own it won't auto start um, even if it puts a uh, and I'm not sure if it did it in this one but even if it puts yes it did you see the caffeine listing here and you see where it says the command for that one is U USR bin caffeine that won't work you need to do what I what I do you'll need to uncheck that one the one that it puts in by default and then add a new one and just click on add and if I click on edit you'll see what I mean just click on add put the name caffeine and then on the command you're gonna put caffeine dash indicator that will make it show up in your system tray it won't do it correctly on its own for some reason. Um, it, within Ubuntu and Debian, that's what you'll need to do. And then you can see Clip It normally populates by itself. Um, P Sensor normally populates Redshift and Synapse. They normally populate by themselves. Um, with with P Sensor you sometimes have to go into the preferences and go into startup and click these three make sure they're all click all selected uh, sometimes that's required other times it'll do it on its own but just make sure they're in your start auto start and they're set up properly then once you reboot then they will show up in your system tray by default. So that is it, guys. Um, that's my five top system tray utilities that I use all the time uh, without fail. They, If you've seen uh, reviews, you'll know that I always install those by default automatically. So, guys, uh, that is it for this video. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.